Welcome back, guys, to Trails of Cold Steel 4, where last episode with our free time continued with Muse's bonding event as we staged a tea ceremony so that she could wear her kimono and confronted her about what her pistol was really for, before dealing with a family scattering for our second quest as we cleared up a misunderstanding. We then swept Ulster, finding a new book awaiting us, took on a trial chest to upgrade Altina's order into Ebon Crystal, and took Yuna out on Lake Gala for her bonding event, learning that Gali is real, as Yuna learned the truth about herself. With her quell to sweep and one quest left, we now continue on. <sighs> this is nice. And continue on. Alright, Raquel sweep next, and one more quest. A monster to fight. Let's uh, put the party back together the way we actually had it. We need Tio to sit in the support section. Our special support section, I'll have you know. Wait, that's not Randy. <laughs> There's too many red hair people. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Do we have Tina? I can't remember who we had. Oh, we had Emma, of course. Oh! What am I doing myself? There we go. So! Report. Here to make a report? Please proceed. Two more points! Great work, everyone! Best of luck on your next endeavors. Should we head out on that endeavor or straight away? Fight a monster before we go to Rackwell? Uh, which will probably earn us an extra bonus bonding point. And then we have to choose between Yusuf and Elliot. We can listen to music with Yusuf uh, and Elliot. Or we can go somewhere with Yusuf. <laughs> Yusuf sounds more exciting currently. Poor Elliot. I mean, we're scared. We don't want to spend time with Elliot. We're scared of him. He just walks into like maps and nukes all the enemies and you're just like, oh, okay, Elliot, sure. He's a scary guy. He's gonna grow up to be his dad. Which isn't a bad thing when you think about it. Uh, where's I supposed to go? Why am I so hard? I find it so hard to find a quest tab. Aven heals. Ba 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 ba. But whereabouts? Can you max out all bonding points for every character in the game? No. You can just save do it. If you want to see them all. But it's already been answered in chat. But it, 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 you know. You can do it on New Game Plus. Can I go that way now? My best idea is to go to the teleportation stone. See what we're fighting. I was still locked before. But equally on Trails of Cold Steel 4... Oh, that thing looks crazy. Equally on Trails of Cold Steel 4, at least... You have most... You have at least, like, you're missing only one. And you're not missing, like, three or four every time. So that's nice. I can appreciate that. Hi, big monster. Time to do battle. This one looks frightening. Please be careful. Yes, it does. This one's strong. Be careful. They're bleeding over, aren't they? Oh my goodness. Rostrum bug. I bet they do instant death. <laughs> Letting these things into our dimension, is that really a clever thing? <laughs> There's a lot of dumb I see going on here. What? Absolute effect for CP4? That's kind of cool. Uh, what should we go with here? I'd have loved Ash for crit. So basically our best crit is Gold Dragon. So we start with... Let's go! Raging Fire Formation! Let's start off just trying to lay in some good damage. Should I go with Gel because there's more power? Doubt it's going to delay anyone, but... Second form, down! Okay, right. those bugs are in danger already. I need to swap you out. You got this. I'll handle it. Theo can scan too, but we'll get one of those bugs scanned. Search mode activate. Interestingly, we didn't get an unbalance. Detailed information. Symbiotic bug obtained. that heals its bod demonic host with its bodily secretion. Its attacks are laced with paralyzing poison. 
Weak to a lot of stats. Let's go. But we didn't hit any of that stats. Strike. It's my turn. All right, one down. Present mirror can come out, which is Arc perfect is for me. My turn. Search mode activate. I meant to put on thing as well, but complete. with defense up, I'm good. Rage. A powerful demon guarding the gates of Gehenna. His physical strength is hard to match, crushing any in its path. Yeah. Alright, we're super defensive. <laughs> Kurt didn't dodge it, but it's look at our turn. defense values. Basically shrugging off anything they do. We're just good to keep pounding on this guy. Not weak to any specific element. Oh, Earth. So, yeah, Emma's going to be great here. Oh, we got the two best gases Roar! out of this. <gasps> uh, healing strike! It's down! I'll assist. 100 well. percentiles of best casters. I try to break him or just let everyone go or just put Divine Soul on so everyone just casts a billion spells. Makes sense for me to do that on the next turn though, rather than this turn. Strike! I shall go. Resonate! Divine Song Formation! Now! Time to send in the pews of pews. Big Earth. There. No crit. Twin attack. I shall go. The surprising thing about how much damage that did was just pretty much. Yeah. How much damage it did. By the. Through the defense buff. Through the it's defense buff. Healing breath. Thanks. I appreciate it. Let's go. Through the defense buff. Prepare yourself. Ha! Shatter. It's down. Don't eat Kurt! You didn't even taste that good because you barely got any stuff from him. Roar! Uh, healing strike! Now! I'll assist! I shall go. More divine song! Resonate! Divine song formation! I shall go. Send it! If Emma were to get a critical, this guy would be toast. Yes. Maybe she can get a break? Yeah. Perfection. I shall go. Switch. Paul, take over. That you shall. Would you have an S craft ready to fire? I think we want to do one. We haven't seen your one yet. You can also nuke it with some other things as well. What's it weakest to? Not really much. But considering no cast time. I hit yes. a crit. I, uh... Well, we might not see her S craft if this goes really well. Oh my god, it did crit. Let's go. Well, I wasn't expecting it, but it did. Hope you're ready. Uh. 
Orbital driver to maximum output. Ether strike! Ha! <laughs> Evaporate! Status. All green. That it is, Tio. Thank you for showing off. Ree, Kurt, Emma, and more leveled up. As we got quite a lot towards the Master Courses, Regulus X is about to level up, so it's Virgo X and Cat's X. Alright, got it! Ready yeah, Master Courses obtained? It. I must train even more. <laughs> I did it! Emma! Stats updated. Abdina. 112 is all we're at. Have I really gained much levels today at all? Free? I think free. Haven <laughs> Hill's monster is complete. And received one bonding point. Of course we did. Why wouldn't we? Let's go. Now's the time, right? Just kill that guy for me while I check out this. Which is still locked up. Why am I going this way? Fence is locked shut. Still. I still can't reach that fishing point or get that ladder down because it's like I can't really do that. It's too weak. Wasn't it? That was that ladder. Oh yeah, she got double destroyed. We can find out. So, there's not a large exploration section for this area. For this phase. Which is a bit of a shame. We've got Tina with us. She can literally fly up there. Nope. Okay, so that's still a section we have yet to unlock at some point in time in the future. Trial Chest 8 is still the only one we haven't done, but it's way higher level than us. Our final sweep begins. Normally we'd heal after that. A little dip in the hot springs. So let's check out town. With Theo. So Charlotte is somewhere in this town. Indeed sir. Several people I interviewed had seen her. I see. If it were just a matter of her not returning to the hotel, I would have left this in your hands. But in a town so full of temptations as this, I must take action myself. I'll get in touch with my connections and see if they can find her. Lofar, return to your search. Do not fail me. As you wish, sir. I can't bear the idea that Charlotte can meet the same fate as her mother. That must not happen. I can't lose her. I have to find him before it's too late. I mean, I know where she is, but I'm not telling you. Also, what? Same fate as her mother? Are you a commoner? <laughs> Lady Charlotte is a sensible young lady. I'm sure she intends to come back eventually. I don't see the harm in letting her experience some freedom a little longer. Perhaps we'll find a way to escape our notice again. Yeah, but that might get in trouble. We don't want to get in danger. Some interesting stuff going up over there. The search continues. What if it's in the Force Gang and Sweet Adius? Is that the Ashen Chevalier? It sure is. Is that new hair some sort of disguise? I hardly recognized you. No, no, this is just my hair now. You're those journalists from the Cosmos Times, right? Grace and Reigns. The rest of us saw them two weeks ago. Yeah, back when we helped out with the survey. Anyway, what are you guys doing on this side of the border? Why indeed, it's quite the story. Or at least it will be once I get picked up for this extra special interview I'm doing at an extra special place. Grace, I think you've shared quite enough details already. And uh, while I'm giving you notes, try not to cause too much chaos while you're over there, okay? I won't be able to cover for you this time. Oh, Reigns, don't be such a worry boss. I can handle myself. Man, now I'm really curious. But I can respect needing to keep things quiet. Just, uh, try to be careful, like Reigns said. We'll see. Thanks, though. Maybe we could get your whole force crew together for an interview sometime. At any rate, we really should be going. You sure you can't come with me, Reigns? I guess this means you've already heard from your employer, huh? Ah, <laughs> no comment. Spoken like a true journalist. But come on, fess up. You know you can't hide the truth from me. Can we get off this subject? I'm not the one you're supposed to be interviewing here. I don't know what's going on here, but this guy's awfully evasive. Most likely... But for now, let's just leave these two to their business. Let's leave them to their business. I have something else planned after this. See you later, Ash and Shivali, and all the rest of you as well. Ugh, I need a better boss. 
Anyway, let's just hope she doesn't go crazy the interview. I swear she knows just how to tie my stomach in knots. Yes. There's been a lot more, let's say, assertive people around lately, if you know what I mean. They get right up in your face and shake you down with one complaint after another. It's also kind of scary, but Yang and I have been dealing with it as best we can for now. Together we'll make sure Iklos Mart survives. Aurora wrote to me and insisted there's nothing to worry about, but that's not much of a comfort. He was putting on a brave face, so he probably wouldn't tell me even if he was having trouble. I wish I knew how he really felt. It's got to give you the propaganda version, because sometimes, like, in that kind of situation, there's Mel would be good checked, wouldn't it? Honestly, I'm in a pickle because the price of our costs have nearly doubled. I've been working with an independent merchant, there's been a real surge in prices. In times like these, I'm really impressed at how Kleist Co. keep prices low. Ah, uh, managing Mirror is not an easy task. I'm starting to understand why Clark was so strict about it. It's hard to go back to Kleist Co., considering I cut ties with them. It's not just that, though. I don't really trust them enough to keep a business relationship with them. This is the real problem. I guess I have no choice but to keep relying on the independent merchant. Ah. Nothing new here. We got a little bit of cash money for defeating that guy. No one ever wants to sell me any master quarters, do they? That's actually been it's been a long while since the last master course now, I think about it. The guys in my division have been getting weirdly enthusiastic lately. Maybe they're just hyped to uh, all the training we've been doing to some use. Put all the training we've been doing to some use. I can figure out the word exactly without seeing the rest of the sentence. Maybe they're just hyped to put all the training we've been doing to, get some, to some good use. It's kind of creepy how cheerful they are when they talk about us laying down our lives for the cause though. The guys in my division are acting a little strange. I guess there's nothing wrong with being motivated. Once my leave is over, I'll try to take this more seriously myself. The other day, these rough looking punks tried harassing me. My heart was in my throat the whole time. But I kind of thought to back down now. I've been getting so many regulars. They need me to soothe away all their worries, and I need those paychecks. Sure, a lot of unsavory characters around. It's a little scary. But I just need to keep at it. I'm getting so many regulars these days, and they need me just as much as I need them. Gotta get that money! Alright, let's work our way up through the middle. Well, I've heard there's some trouble stirring up at Four's main campus, too. The Aquarelle has gone missing, along with some of the students. The vice principal classified it as an official leave of absence, but all the instructors of the government sent over it seemed pretty on edge. So that was what was going on at the main campus. That means it wasn't just a Durflinger that escaped then, right? It seemed to know a lot. Ah, I see now, you've got your connections with that informant to keep you in the loop. Why, well, you caught me. The informant over in Trista's on a whole other level of skill than any I've seen. Makes you almost jealous of what they can get away with. It sounds like they're working on procuring weapons and keeping up a pretty lucrative trade. I guess it's not so different from here. I see. Yep, that's Mitch, alright. Vice Principal Heinrich and the others are keeping things under control as best they can. There shouldn't be any problems over there. I've been trading info back and forth with the informant over in Trista. They keep him up to date with all that's going on on my end. Not much to worry about the main campus though. It's pretty much guaranteed he'd be in good hands with the crown prince there and all. Yeah, there shouldn't be anything bad happening. I really do need to go through some of this sometime and go, yeah, I need to do this, that. Firebell's much better than Firebell after all. We do have a Firebell now. Firebell needs Flare Butterfly SR to be able to make those. See, like, I can make like some those of really good stuff. Better than just a standard bell comes with a spell. That's what you need. More than most, comes with ATS up. Nice. Yeah. Oh, now that's different. You've really quieted down, huh, boy? I wonder what calmed him down so much. Uh, is it just me, or does he seem to be sticking real close to outside this apartment? He's probably standing guard over this place. From what he said, he wants to protect the girl that lives here. He must have picked up on the way the curse is spreading in his own way. Uh, that makes a strange kind of sense, actually. Uh, oof. Well, taking Emma along to speak to animals is a good idea. Celine, giving us all the information. So you want to protect her? What's going on, then? Oh, now it's Orsa from next door who's been grafted. Yeah, but your draft card hasn't come yet, right? It hasn't. 
Between the draft and the tanking economy, every day is a real struggle for folks around here. You don't think we're starting to seem out of place, do you? You took the words right out of my mouth. Hey, settle. Let's give the good people here a much needed helping hand. Because that's what being a neighbor really means. Helping each other in times of need. How wonderful. Let's do it. I'm so proud of you, Rick. Rick's getting it. If we do that, or if we do, I'm sure nobody will think we're being imprudent. Indeed, that's so proud of you, Rick. Just let me know what I can do. They only have duo speak. Rick knows what to say. I was so surprised when Charlotte first came over. She's a noble, but she cooks like a real chef, and she even helped with chores. And it even looked like she had fun when we went to the pawn shops and those restaurants. I'd never guess a noble would like those things. Hey, right? Charlotte's real special. <laughs> so does this mean you guys are dating? Uh, what's that supposed to do? Uh, Charlotte and I are just friends. I took some paid time off for my delivery job and orders to come over here. Charlotte's dad and her butler always keep an eye on me, so I'm waiting for them to chill out a little bit before I get back. Well, what's important is that Charlotte has a good time in Raquel. Utah. Charlotte's so nice and pretty. She's the nicest noble ever. She can stay with us as long as she wants to, right? Aww. This is like one of the more wholesome things that have been going on in the entire game, isn't it? Your fisherman's paella was incredible, my dear. Thank you so much for making it for us. That's sweet of you to say. I just made it the way I've seen it prepared, so I'm glad it wasn't too bad. This is so embarrassing, but could you tell me your name again, dear? Charlotte Rackham, ma'am. Names can be so difficult to remember, can't they? Charlotte, it was on the tip of my tongue. Seeing my you to make friends with a person as sweet as you really makes this old heart sing. I'm very happy that you're so close to him and Mina. Pleasure's all mine, believe me. She's so cool! How can someone like this exist? This city is so full of new sights to see. I really enjoy experiencing them with Judah and his family. This is the kind of warm, honest life that Mother wanted to protect. Ah, raised well by one. Charlotte. It was Charlotte, wasn't it? I put it down pat now, I'm sure of it. And so Mum's definitely not in the picture anymore. Tragedy, obviously. So Dad's gone into overprotective mode. Maybe there's some other reasons behind it. Maybe Mum fell in love with a commoner. <laughs> we just don't know. Babby! Let me make it clear. He's not my grandson. I just help out the lady on the second floor with babysitting here and there. I thought so. Hey, come on, don't be a pain. What? What did I do? Oh, no, no, no. What should I do? He's being way too rough with the baby. Of course the child's gonna cry. This might be too much for him. I thought looking after a baby was gonna be easy, but I have no idea what to do. Wah! Calm down, please. Calm down. Baby. Someone help the baby. Oh, well. Your bed might be a little messy. I'm guessing you can hear him downstairs. Montel came over to see how we were doing when my husband went off to war. He said that a tired mother stresses the baby, then he kindly offered to look after use for me. <laughs> it might be him stressing the baby. It was really kind of him to offer that. I get so anxious when I think of my husband in a war zone. If things continued as they were, I'm sure I would have made use worry too. My husband has just started out in the army, so it'll take some time for his wages to come through. I'll have to work until then. What's up? I hope he's doing okay in the army. Poor sir. I, I guess we've got the key no matter if Ash is here or not. Right, so that's nearly half of Raquel. This was always going to be the biggest bit of the sweep. It's kind of why I left it to last. Mix it with that monster killing quest to start off an episode, you know it's. Oh, I was going to prepare some medicine, but I dropped the bottle. When I bent down to pick it up, I stepped on the hem of my skirt and tripped. I'd also gotten caught up in the tablecloth, so when I fell, all the medicine and tools went flying too. Ah, oh, strange. I've been messing up so much lately. Oh, the same thing happened at Riviera Court in Ordis. Another symptom of the Great Twilight, maybe. Hmm. I can't believe I'm making so many mistakes. But I'm not going to quit. People need this medication. Make some people clumsy. 
on the anxiety support group today. Please feel free to attend. She's going to be so anxious. Well, on top of anxiety, I think I heard old for screaming and something breaking. That been happening a lot lately. She couldn't be trying, trying to. No, 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 no. Medicinal ingredients are incredibly valuable, so I do wish she'd handle them with more care. <laughs> uh. That scream followed by a smash is all too familiar these days. Perhaps even suspiciously so. Either way, medicinal ingredients are valuable. Oh, okay. That's weird. Is that one way that you can drive people away from each other? I was. What's up with you? You want to work? Me? Work? You can't be serious. Oh, I am dead serious, buddy. I don't know how you do things in Heimdall, but around here, people pay their bills. And if you can't pay, you work it off. Makes no difference if you're a commoner or the crown prince himself. Or would you prefer me to turn you over to the MPs? Hey now, let's not be hasty. I want to stay out of this war. If I go home with my draft papers are there, it's all over. In that case, you can stay here as long as you want while you work off what you owe. That clears things up now, doesn't it? Yikes, I had no idea hostess could be so damn scary. And I had so much fun here last night too. This guy goes ahead and wastes the whole night away in our establishment. And now it turns out you can't even foot the bill. We're going through enough right now as it is. How are we going to make up for these losses? We're just going to have to get him to pick up the slack for all the staff that got drafted. I was just looking for a good time. I'm sorry. Please, just don't turn me over to the army. Sure, sure, don't worry. You can work all that depth off with that body of yours. With, with my body? You mean, no way. I, I, c I can't do that kind of... Well, you know. Oh, this kid's handsome, but he doesn't have a lot going on upstairs. <laughs> What are you going to do with the body? He does not have a lot going on upstairs. Right, what's going on, Barker? Hey, you. What was all that about showing them what you're made of? You trying to pick a fight with me, huh? N no, of course not. I was talking about coward. You know, the war and everything? Huh. And that's how you drum up business. That's in class, you rat bastard. Who does this girl think she is lecturing me about class? I'm guessing you still haven't found that cargo boy. Yeah, I just wish I had some kind of lead. Oh, this is seriously pissing me off. I get it, but that's no reason to take out your frustrations on other people. That's a luck in your search. We'll keep an eye out for him too. Sheesh, what's with this trashy looking girl, huh? Buy someone or take a hike, honey. Uh, maybe she's from that gang of delinquents that have been hanging around here. Well, since I've already wasted this much time here, might as well ask around and see if anyone's seen him. Oh yeah, I heard that Anton guy ran off to Ordis. It's going to be rough chasing a lady who won't give you a second glance. You'd think he'd take the hint. Still, I've got to admit, I'm kind of rooting for him. Maybe things will all work out. I mean, aren't we all? Brad's going to revive Fafnir. I'm attached to it, so I hope they don't do anything too bad. Next time I see him, I'm going to give him a talking to. Ah, oh, what? He actually got them on his side? Ugh. It is not in here, so you must be somewhere else. In the casino, maybe? Sheesh, with all this going on lately, nothing is working. The Civil War is chaotic too, but we had Ash back then. To make matters worse, there have been more and more customers that act really full of themselves lately. I'm worried that something we can't fix will happen. Yes, you might be. Should I buy more Deccan's ribs? Well, we already used them for something, so maybe they won't need it again? When did the future become so uncertain? I'm worried that something we can't fix will happen. Well... That might happen soon. You moved over here, didn't you? You know you tricked me. Please, look after the kids. If the worst does happen, the army should pay some money. I'll be putting a heavy burden on you, but... Dear, that's enough. I don't care about them here. Please, just think of how to keep from causing the children grief. I know. I'll make it back home no matter what. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. Alright, let's eat before the food gets cold. I'm sorry. I'm worried about my family. Yeah, I can understand why you wouldn't want to speak to a stranger who comes up to you while you're in the middle of a meal in a serious conversation. Yes. Yes, it is obvious that we did this sweet with Ash. You might have got a little bit more dialogue too, of course. Can you believe it? The local gangs have been shaking me down for protection money. Oh, excuse me. I've just been receiving so many complaints lately thanks to the thugs lawyering around here. I'm busy and ever trying to stay on top of it all. This is the last thing I need right now. Ugh. 
Every night I have to warn our patrons to be especially careful on their way back home. It's gonna be so ridiculous. What are those new conscripts even doing? That is the question. Oh my goodness, they all got cat they all joined up. We've got our first summons already, huh? Just two weeks of training and they tell me I'm a soldier now and ship me off. Guess my only option here is to try to survive. We've all got to give our best for our family's sake, you know. Okay now, I'm getting all choked up. Besides, we can't go worry about the future right now. There's no way of knowing what it holds, so why sweat the what-ifs? Let's just focus on enjoying our time here at Quell, okay? You and me. Yeah, I did think they'd have double dialogue. Hey, I know we're from different walks of life. These last two weeks, I feel like we've really clicked. I'm really gonna miss you, man. Maybe we'll meet up like this again someday. So they found friends from joining the army. Hey, Melda. Hmm, the weapon trader from Nine Valley is also visiting this town. <laughs> I'll have to see if she'd like to have drinks together. She'd make for an entertaining company. What'll it be? She's still in the casino, then. So I didn't have a Mishy plushie or a Michette plushie. Seemingly. I mean, obviously, all these combine to make something. So shall I buy them now and be like, where's my money going? Press gloves, soldier gloves, Proverbs flow. I think I'm done with those, but I the gold coin is 12k. Yikes. To get all the attachments and stuff, it's kind of nightmarish, isn't it? What? Yeah, what? Done already? Yeah, my leap a kiss. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. Here, a little thanks from me to you. Why, thank you. I know you like my unique cooking as Four's Unity rating has increased. Here's the Jade Bistro Curry. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. I doesn't want the other two, so fairy tale plate as well. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. Next one gets me an award. Oh, the weapon trader from Nine Valley is also visiting this town. Yep. You're just gonna hang out with her. Bye bye, mate. One of my old customers popped in. I hadn't seen him in a long time. It seems times are tough for everyone, but it was nice to get some new information. Ooh. Hermit Blue. Did I not already own one of them? I don't even know. He's one of our oldest customers. He used to visit when Ash's mother was working here. Oh, sorry. I guess I got a bit carried away with talking about the past. Maybe because it's almost the anniversary of Ellen's death, after all. Uh, uh. Where? Where? So he's not in yet, but that's obviously, obviously his next bonding event. 100%. It's gonna happen. A whole gang of delinquents passed by this way a while back. They looked even more full of themselves than usual. What are they up to? I never really had a problem with those kids, but they're kind of hard to approach. Is it just me, or are we getting more and more violent patrons lately? I feel like we've been through all this before. Yes. What time before you head off to war? More energy than you know what to do with. Come on into the casino and blow off some steam. What do you say? What's your spill today? I love watching guests pour right on in as much as the next girl, but a lot of them have been getting real fresh with me lately. I know I'm cute, but look at your eyes, not with your hands. Yes. Don't touch the merch. We know he doesn't require. I kind of play the casino, but I don't know what to do first. Hey there, is this your first time? I recommend you start with a few spins of the roulette. Banana, sounds pretty idiot proof to me. Uh, maybe all I have to do is guess with a board full next. Surely I can manage that. Just see how many guesses you can make. Roulette is all about luck. It's one of the easier games to play. Yeah, because you, you've got no control. To the main point. Hey, you might some of the soldiers that war is imminent. If it's really that close at hand. I think we can expect a stampede of customers coming to unwind before setting out to battle. We need to steal ourselves mentally for the promised day. Same. Okay, we can still play our games to build tokens. We've already bought Musky Violet. Nothing new seems to have ended up in here. 
Recently, there's been a lot more people losing everything in the casino, plus a spike in cheating. It's as if people are losing their sense of restraint en masse. Just what is going on? It's interesting that it drives them to cheat as well. Between you and me, I hit triple sevens on the slots earlier. Lucky me, huh? I can return the mirror I had to borrow. Now I can finally sleep easy. I said I'm ready for more. It's time to spin the day away. Uh-oh. Between you... Uh... Yeah. No extra dialogue. Sad times. Do you have dialogue apart from thinking? You know, I almost missed that customer trying to cheat. I might be new, but I can still do my job as a dealer. I have to carefully watch our customers' movements and react accordingly. Not much to do in the casino, is it? This is the first time I've ever spoken to a mystery author. So what do you do when you have writer's block? Oh, that's a good question. I try to get a break and jump into a new world. Like today. It looks like it's your first time in the casino. Let me show you around. I truly appreciate that. I think I'd meet someone so bewitching right after escaping my manager, Fiodoro. My, my head is spinning. I've heard of feminine mystique, but this is flat out feminine magic. I'll show him feminine magic. <laughs> Go on, do it. Everyone's first time in the casino was always heart racing. Now I'd like to hear more about the writing process and about what's going on in the capital, so I think I'll spend the day with this author here. All publishing had been halted by military order. There's some censorship happening, but the major publishers are back in operation now. And at the same time, my boss keeps nagging me to get my next story out. That's why I fled here. On this lady with horse guy earlier? Yes. She sees multiple people. It's about getting money. That's her job. It's all good for them. I don't think it's about romance. It's about her job. I've had a lot of intense customers lately. They're either weirdly irritable or especially gung-ho to throw all of their mirror at the casino. I mean, we've always had these types of customers, but there's been an uptick recently. When well, anything untoward happens, we'll just have our friendly security specialist in black escort the store sort of the problem out. You do that. I heard the conscription office that war is about to break out. It's all well and good coming to the casino blow steam, but I can't concentrate knowing the war is around the corner. You're a soldier. You know what's coming. What? I didn't think if I become a soldier there'd be war, despite our history of it. Many of our customers choose blackjack because it doesn't hinge much upon luck. But that also means it attracts cheaters. I have 20 years of experience as a dealer and I won't let anything damage the integrity of the game. Please relax and enjoy playing in good faith. Yeah, but you cheat. That's what we decided. It's blatant. No events or anything. Just the last few days, over 10 customers have exhausted their savings and had to take out a loan. Do you think maybe they're getting more desperate as war approaches? Yeesh. You'd hope that casinos would be ethical enough to cut them off, but that's not their business model. What of a kind and a royal flush. The royal flush takes the pot. However, yes, this takes my chip total up to 50,000 mirror. Damn it, why do you keep winning while I get nothing? Excuse me. Sir, you can't bring a mirror with you to the table. So that was your trick, you no good cheat. Cheating immediately results in you forfeiting the bet. Adding your losses in this game to the penalty, that will be 100,000 mirror, please. <laughs> I'd like to see that kind of money. I'll take it. Damn it, damn it, damn it! I knew the dealer here was an old hand at this, but I got greedy. If all the things went well, then I can make a killing! Sheesh, no wonder I couldn't beat him. The dealer really saved my bacon. If you can't catch a cheating customer, you're not fit to be a dealer. You caught a good one. A big one. Is this your next meeting? Oh, it looks like a deal. Payment sounds fair, I've got no objections. Thanks, I'll pass on your comments. You don't want any arm with that, I can hook you up with a good deal. Yeah, I better take a full set. This next job is going to be hard work. I was there in the middle of something. That customer looks like a Jaeger, yeah. What are we going to be doing here? It's probably best not to get involved. It's so weird seeing people like that walking around like normal. I'd rather not stick around too long. I'd like to order equipment from you. With the spare ammunition, we can do up to 200. Make sure it's the good stuff. I need a break from all the work. Once this contract is over, I should give the roulette wheel a spin. Maybe I'll take a little downtime in the club. Anything. Right, and that. It's a lot of our stuff done. Sorted. Complete. 
Life looks good, doesn't it? Should probably change the prankster on Yuna to something else, something better. Holy Bell comes with Cross Crusade, sounds pretty cool. Alright then! Casino, check! Nothing of import. Dialogue is important, but you know what I mean. Welcome, sir. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Likewise, you see, I'll be shipping out to a new assignment soon. I want to show my darling here a wonderful time before I go. Splendid idea. You need to look any further. And I'm going to give you this, a special invite to tonight's event for just the two of you. I can finally unwind. All this talk of departing for the front has got me so on edge. Worrying about it won't help. I can at least enjoy myself tonight. See, the club managed to squeeze it in after all. Come on, come on, the fun awaits. Same dialogue. New Blanc is as lively as it's ever been these days, and we offer the finest entertainment you can find. So how would you like to sign up for our gold membership? We'd be glad to open our doors to you. Tio's in. And that is the Raquel Sleep. So... I'm just going to check out here, because I'm wondering where the bullies went. He said that he went through here, but I guess not. That is everything on the new side of things, by the look of things. I guess we can do some gifting. And then we're off, right? We're done. We have our bedtime story ready. We're probably not going to get far into whatever the next segment actually is. For this session, anyway. For the Twitch, of course. The YouTube will roll around as normal. we still got to choose our bonding event. That is a thing. So, Usis or Elliot, I'm definitely leaning towards Usis on the basis of the fact I can't be bothered to listen to music. <laughs> we gave the silver wolf ring to Crow, first of all. Oh, what's this? A silver ring with a wolf's head design. Damn, dude, you know just what suits my taste, don't you? That was a bit of a guess, but it seems I hit the bullseye. How do you like it? Well, I still haven't paid you back for that future mirror, have I? Because I'm going to have to pay you back with something real nice. Thanks, though. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Nearly five. Strength an ATS for those two. The shiny pocket, white pocket watch can be mailed to Patrick? Sometime later, Reem was contacted by his Arcus too. Thank you for the pocket watch. Its intricate detailing is remarkable. I'm pleasantly surprised you knew what kind of design would most appeal to me. I mean, i amazed I could contact you. Well, I've known you for a long time. Now the pressure's on me to reciprocate with a gift as well chosen as yours. I did get you something, actually, but I'm not sure if it's really to your taste. Got some Albion cuffs. Pearl oyster cufflinks. Hey, classy. That's very you. Seriously, though, they're great. Thank you. Yeah, I'm relieved you didn't find them too pretentious. Thank you again for the pocket watch. I'll treasure it. That's not too bad. This can be given to you, sis. What do we have here? A hunting cap. It's very well made and stylish to boot. Not the most enthusiastic region, reaction, but I'll take it. Do you think you'll get some use out of it? Definitely. Once things calm down, would you like to go hunting with me and my falcon? I'll think of something to give you in return by then. Sure, that'd be fantastic. I'll be looking forward to it. Strength and ATS increased by 15 for uses and 2 for Reen. Doa! Our flowing light sphere. Wow, it's beautiful! Does it shine in the dark too? I believe so. It's just a little something I picked up a while back. I thought it might suit you. Oh, it's a lovely gift, but are you sure it's not too much? It's nothing compared to your priceless help and support. Think of it as a token of my gratitude. If you say so. <laughs> it's too nice to wear it every day, though. I'll save it for special occasions. Thank you, Reen. You're most welcome. Nearly full there, too. Reen strength and ATS increased by three. Sefel Joker. It's a very intimate gift, I feel. Wow, I'm not sure I could pull off wearing such a gorgeous necklace. Ah, nonsense. I know it's in your usual style, but I was certain it would suit you the moment I saw it. So please try it on. If you insist. I don't mean to give you the wrong impression, Reen. I couldn't be happy to receive such a lovely gift. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. The pleasure's mine. Five. Laura's bond is at max. Same with defense. There we go, we finally gave them out. Speaking of things we need to do periodically. Let's check. 
Still not enough for a prize on the profiles? What the hell? I'll take a look. Wow, these results are amazing. Battles are fine. Power droplet and forgery droplet for 50%. Only 50. <laughs> I still feel like I've only missed like one. Is it one or two things when we did the Gilbert battle, wasn't it? I I'll take a look. So, so many. Thank you very much. Is that long your bonus award? Vitality drop the times three. Alright, we keep getting the unity rating up. And no photos to send. And have no reason to play bomb. Okay, I think we're gonna go with Usis. So then we've got the whole Usis Machius duo done. Okay, let's see how you did. Give Yay! me my reward. Your rank went up. It's only three points. Just about. Here's then. a gift from her highness. Zeus Stragus. Thanks, everyone. Great job. Next. See you later, Reen. Nexus two two five. How good are these Stragus then? Z Stragus. <laughs> what? I mean, redonkulously good. Massive amounts of evasion, massive amounts of move. Even ATS2. It's kind of ridiculous, wasn't it? Well, Reen, you take it. All the evasion you could want, 19% randomly. Main character bias and all that. A bias. Usis. Let's see what this is all about. You're worried for your butler. Governor Silver Brayhard is beginning to get out of hand in my absence. Wish I could assist in some way, but my only choice for now is to leave things to Arnold. Usis must have a serious bond of trust with this butler of his. I can understand why he's worried. You know, we still have some time until this afternoon. Why don't I head to Brayhard with me? Without the Imperial Defense Force, we'll be expecting you to return now of all times. And with Valimar, then we just might be able to make it through. All right then, let's go. We need to sell this for Arnold's sake as well. Got it. Let's get ready. That way, Machius can't claim I'm his favorite. He's my favorite, or whatever. One of the ones. Then head for Kreutzen in Eastern Erebonia with Valimar at full power. With Arnold providing internal information controllers as requested, they successfully created a break in the Imperial Defense Forces Guard. And then... I must apologize for this inexcusable inconvenience I forced upon you, as if matters weren't already complicated enough. I never would have imagined I would put you through such straits as these. You're already in a precarious position, and I've only given you cause for even more worry. I'll hear nothing of the sort, Arnold. You're doing more than anything anyone could ever ask. We can't stay long, but I assure you I'll do my utmost to reduce the brunt of your workload while we're here. I'd like to lend a hand as well, though I can't handle much more than paperwork, I'm afraid. Thank you. I'm forever in your debt. Oh, and Arnold, regarding those arrangements that I contacted you about... You, sis. Pretty sure that was the kid that... Whoa, it is you, sis! <laughs> we haven't seen you in forever, you, sis! Abby, you can't just tackle him like that. Ease up a little bit. No, I don't mind at all, really. I'm just glad to see you two looking so well. You too, you, sis. <laughs> Welcome back! Thanks so much, both of you. Usus. Oh, he's still struggling with it, isn't he? Usus made a request of Arnold and then began scanning through the documents that stacked up in the office. Reen joined in and got straight to organizing the paperwork as well. I'm done with you, here, Usus. Oh, excellent. I really appreciate the help, Reen. Just a little more and I'll be finished too. We'll have Arnold put some tea on when he gets back. In the meantime, make yourself at home if you like. Sure, thanks. It seems I've stirred up a fuss over so little. Still, I'll admit that tackle earlier caught me a bit off guard. Usus. It was right when I began acting as a duke. The first time she came by the mansion to see me, I mean. 
She visited a number of times without any word of warning and always shared the latest intel from operations to students to what have you. Past that, we just indulge in tea, snacks and more relaxed conversation. Miriam, what brings you here all of a sudden? Hey, you sis, I'm here in the neighborhood for some work. Great timing, huh? Haha, <laughs> I just had to stop by. How have you been lately? How many times will I tell you to behave as a lady of your age? Um, your family's got the best tea and cakes, hands down, you sis. I'm gonna give it all on your face there, William. Really? Am I getting it for me? Oh, idios, whatever am I gonna do with you? She's really become like a sister to me. Thinking about it now, she probably was concerned for me from as far back as even before our graduation. I stepped up, up as Duke at a time when I was dealing with my father's arrest and my brother kept keeping his distance and she supported me through it all. She sure did. Out of everyone in old class 7, Minnie was brimming with potential the absolute most, wasn't she? Even now, I bet she would have been... What we ought to do is focus on what's to come. Minion protected us and provided the opportunity for a future beyond all of this turmoil. So our only goal now is to ensure we protect this world no matter what. And when that future finally comes, we'll be there to witness it for her. We deserve to see its fruition most of all. That way, Minion will always carry on, in our hearts as well. So you can never give up on yourself, Reen, no matter what circumstances you face. Even after we get past this, we each have much to do, don't we? Oh. You're absolutely right. I hear loud and clear, Eusis, and rest assured, I don't intend on ever giving up on myself, no matter what. Let's keep on facing toward the future, whatever it may throw at us, for Milliam's sake. You didn't tell me twice. Not on my intrusion. I've gone and picked up the sword you had sharpened. Ah, perfect. Many thanks, Arnold. We're gonna duel now. Well, that's fancy. A sword. This would be the Holy Sword of Elvars. I sent it to an arson I know to sharpen it back up to proper form. It's a blade that's been handed down in this family for generations, together with its sibling sword, which my brother possesses. I see. You don't want to roll over in defeat, are you? Certainly not. I plan to overcome whatever stands in our way. You and Irene, side by side. Let's take hold of our destiny and forge the future we want and steal. You got it. Familium. That's a fancy sword. They then managed to escape very hard before the Imperial Defense Force came back. Our bond with Eustace has strengthened. We obtained the Holy Sword Elvars. Holy Sword Elvars is an event item. Go to the item section of the camp menu to change the appearance of Eustace's weapon. Let's do this, Reen. Miriam gave us a chance for a better future. Now we must reach out for it. You must never give up on yourself, Reen, no matter what circumstances you face. Thanks, you, sis. I'll take that to heart. Actually got, like, a cosmetic change of weapon. So it will change it permanently. Does it change the current sword or any future sword? I'm worried about that. It probably won't get consumed on use. But of course you change it versus a standard sword. Why would you? Why would you have it any other way? Ah. You can have a normal looking sword. There we go. Or, uh... More boring looking sword is, I guess, the thing. So have we done everything? Seven. where's the mayor? Nothing new on the tabs. The only trial chest we can do is in the Stellar Shrine and that's locked away, 133. We haven't seen any more cryptids. Well, tell a lie. We did see a cryptid. We can't face the cryptid. 
a likely story. Maybe in the future we'll get there. We had Emma dive into our mind. Please ask before you do weird things. You can even throw in some fish too. Lovely, lovely. Everyone is not healed up and ready to go. I guess that's the last thing to do is to make sure I'm ready for whatever's to come. Because we haven't had really any battle. So let's end of the hot spring. And we haven't really discussed about what party it will force me to take yet. I'm assuming that's going to be there. Because it's been for everything. In fact, to be honest, we haven't actually spoke with... <sighs> I can catch my breath now. Guys, about relatively going. So... In that sense, I could just be jumping the gun a fair bit. Let's find out. Also, we did get that attachment center, so we should probably check that out as well. Before I forget about it! Here's chains. We've got the dress gloves and all that. They can be made in something with the plushies. Uh, I'll be in cuffs with the ones got the ADF plus 600. So if you want to go really into spell defense, there you go. Right. Save. And off we go. You really do understand your students, don't you, Reen? In any case, I'll make sure I'm prepared to provide you with support at a moment's notice. I've already charted the course to our destination. We can leave at any time, so just let me know when you want to depart. Let's go then. Our designated meeting point is a buffer airspace above the borders of Erebonia, Calwood, and Labille. I've already charted our course. Should we depart and rendezvous with the panel group? Once you depart, the story will progress. Please note that content such as quests and time limited events will disappear. So it is a move forward, but not a set thingy. Aye aye, set a course, even though you already have. Go, engage. Understood. I'll call everyone together then. Got it, thanks. Once class seven and the rest of the crew had each finished up their remaining affairs, the Mukuba then began to make its way towards the designated meeting point. Designated meeting point. This is gonna be crazy, isn't it? The reunion to end all reunions. Literally, everyone is here? Plus more people. What a meeting spot. Surely it won't be divined. Neutral airspace over the Erebonia Libel Calvert border. Mugman number eight, this is the Pantacle speaking. Your ship is now permitted to dock. Please follow the beacon. Understood. Initiating automated boarding. Wow, we really are over a freeway border. If only just barely. The non-intervention zone should span the entire surrounding area, supposedly. Not much chance for interference when you're straddling three entire countries, huh? Yep, plus it's off the invasion route into the Republic. It makes for a pretty effective blind spot. But did we really have to go all the way here just to find out what Mil Mirage is about? They're here. And to the front runners.
I like how they have to flash some kind of code. Certain countries' latest model of gunship, the VST-110 Type Avia. Scout ships from the Panagal and more from the northeast and south. Northeast and south? Could it be? That makes their origins clear, geographically speaking. In that case, the ship coming from the east must be a new state-of-the-art military gunship from the Republic, courtesy of the Verne Company. That's right, complete with an with a higher carrying capacity and expanded cruising range. So many people from so many different regions gathered together for one purpose. Musei, does this mean that all of these people are... Indeed, important figures from each one of our neighboring countries. The Kingdom of Liberal, the Principality of Remiferia, and even the Republic of Calvard. And if all goes to plan... We'll have a few special guests from the Bracer Guild and the SSS join us, too. Not so neutral, eh? Gotta pick a side sometimes. Been about a month, hasn't it? All right, this is where you escape from, right, Ash? Wow, this ship is huge. Hey, it's the Bobcat too. Just like Josette said. So, you showed up after all. We're gonna do General Bardius. You look well. As do you, Schwarzer. Despite everything General Le Guin and Miss Clotilda tell me you've been through, Your Highness, Lady Angelica, it's a pleasure to have you back safely with us. Thank you, Brigadier General. We appreciate it. Who'd have thought we'd be meeting here on the Panacle at a time like this? Agreed. Things have taken a real turn since Ortis's last Provincial Council. What happens here today could very well change the course of history. Wow. The course of history? Why the assemblage, then? Indeed it is. In fact, some of our guests have already arrived. Though many of them are simply here to observe. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> 